peace and grand rising to the air. Today is January 24th, 2021, on the Greco-Roman calendar, 1441, on the sovereign ancient moon calendar. Uh, so we want to get started by, um, we hear uh, uh, a little bit of chatter out there in the internet verse. <laughs> and um, sometimes the chatter is, is, is awesome, it's great, and sometimes it's not positive chatter. Um, I want us to take just uh, 30 seconds or so to um, send some, some of the highest love and peace and honor, um, even to those who, especially to those who are chattering, you know, negatively about all that we're doing. Um, we love them. We love them, and we know that that the only reason that um, that those things are done is just because of colonization. And um, we we don't take it personally. Uh, we're going to continue to do the work. We love them, and we want to ensure that they know that no matter what they say, we're still here for them. Um, and we're actually asking the ancestor and the ancestral energy to to be merciful, and so that you know, and give them an opportunity to to come to know who they really are, so that they'll know they don't have to do that. Okay, so let's just take a, uh, about 30 seconds to send them some peace and some love and some just all of the honor and everything that we can send them that they need in order to overcome the feeling that they have to be negative towards someone else in order to accomplish their goals. So. Um, I'm going to put my timer on here for 30 seconds, and then we will we'll just just take that time to send them some love. So let's let's start now. It's um. Hey Taraji, you sure had some fucked up energy in your uh summit meeting the other day to send him some love to Islam. We're going to take an extra 30 seconds for that. Islam. Okay. Um, thank you for your energy. When we put our energies together, no, no one can stop us from doing what the ancestors sent us to do. I do want to thank everyone who participated in uh, and who attended and or and who listened to our first. Uh, law Enforcement and Unification Summit that we had this past Thursday. Um, it was magnificent. The energy was awesome. And um, I'm just grateful to the ancestors that, um, that they have allowed us to come together and meet in that manner so that we can stand on our own land. Um, so... I'm grateful for that. Um, hopefully you all receive the energy um, that you, you know, that, that was being sent and the spirit that it was being sent in um, because it was, it was amazing. And I'm just grateful that we can come together in that manner and, um, 
no matter where we're from. There were different um, nations and governments presenting themselves there, and um, as well as some of our own. And um, with no confusion, no back and forth, none of that. It was pure love and pure peace, and, and everyone, the energy were were nation-building energies. And that's what we seek, and that's what we want. That's what we love. And so um, I'm just grateful for everyone who who attended and every all of the speakers. Um, it was it was it was amazing. And we will have those uh, periodically to kind of get caught up on um, all that's going on with our nation and with regard to law enforcement and with regard to being the law and being the government on our land. Um, having said that, one of the videos that was put out for that summit is on YouTube. And in the video, I was wearing a uh, military uniform with our flag showing. Um, there's, there's, there's the uniform. It does say peacekeeper in red in all lowercase letters. And that is going to be our uniform at this time with a white turban and white um, shirt underneath. It can be a white T-shirt. It can be, you know, a white shirt, as long as it's a white shirt. I, I chose a white turtleneck um, because it's Turtle Island. But, you, you know, any type of a white shirt underneath. And then all of our patches and things are white with red all lowercase letters on them. And um, some of the things that I've been doing, some of the demonstrations that I've been doing this past week in my uniform has been um, I did postmaster duties on um, – Friday, the day after the summit, um, where I have Islam in the chat. It was it was a beautiful summit. I'm so grateful for everyone who spoke and everyone who was there. Um, and we'll have those periodically just to catch up and make sure that, you know, where law enforcement is concerned on the land, um, that we're doing all that we are supposed to be doing um, because it is our land. Um, we did last week on Thursday, uh, by the way, speaking of that, we did uh, deliver as postmasters and as the provost marshal on the land, we did deliver to the uh, United States Corporation Company military a copy of the treaty in, all, in red in all lowercase letters. We did deliver that to them on uh, Wednesday. Uh, the twenty the twentieth, I believe that was. Yes, it, it was. Yeah, it was the twentieth that we Wednesday delivered to them a copy of the treaty to one of their officer quote unquote officers, and that's one doing business as officers because they're not real officers. We are the real officers, um, and they received it. So, um, and then on Friday uh, we were doing postmaster duties where. We have some court actions coming up, and those court actions have everything to do with those in our territory who are unlawfully occupying. For example, um, I did wear my uniform for all of the duties that we do and all of the demonstrations that we do, I, I wear my uniform. And I will say this about the uniform. Because it says peacekeeper in red and all lowercase letters, it puts people at ease when they see peacekeeper as opposed to, uh, you know, some foreign military, et cetera, et cetera. They don't have the flag, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're put at ease when they see peacekeeper, and that's what we want. We want them to be, uh, you know, just, you know, we don't need anybody to be on guard for anything because, you know, we're at peace. We're not at war. And that's why we're here. And everywhere that we went, I mean, we had an amazing experience on Thursday, uh, Wednesday, when we went to deliver the um, the peace treaty to 
the foreign United States Corporation Company uh, military. Um, but and we'll tell you about that uh, at a at a different at a later time. But with regard to Friday, we did postmaster duty. Uh, we do uh, use our own stamps and seals on our mailing, and we delivered our own parcels. Um, and you may or may not be able to see uh, see this uh, on the screen, but we put our own stamps and seals on our on our documents and our own labels in red and all lowercase letters, and we deliver it to uh, the one doing business as head sheriff. This past Friday, we delivered to her a um, command to appear in court, the Moorish American Consular Court. And we have, we have called them into court previously. We're doing it one, one more time. Yes, Islam, that is who that is. It's Mitzi Yohannet. Yohannet. Um, and again, we're not mad at her. We haven't, we're not declaring war on anyone. Uh, but there is unlawful occupation of our lands. We are on our duties right now, and we're going to stay on our duties uh, into perpetuity. So we don't need them doing anything that has to do with the Moors. We will take care of it, and you know, we 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 got it. We're we're our, and we're just going to continue growing in that area. Um, so we delivered to them. We went down to the. Um, New administrative building, and um, there was a sheriff at the door, uh, and they were running people through a metal detector, etc. Uh, we didn't go through the metal detector; we just reached around it, around the side, and and handed to one of the sheriff the document in the mailing. And this, uh, the one that we, the the foreign occupier that we handed it to, she had her name in all capital letters on her uniform. So what we did was write down her name and the time that we gave her the document, and she objected, you know, oh, I can't deliver this. I'm going to have to leave it at the door. And, you know, she wanted us to take the document back with us, and we just turned around and walked out because she had already accepted the document. And when you accept, when, once they accept the document, um, even if we would, if there had been a counter there, I would have left the document on the counter and 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 let and notified them that they'd been served. And that's all we say. We didn't need to have a conversation with her. Uh, we did not need to. Um, we didn't need to go into detail about what was in it and who it was for because it was clearly marked. We just needed someone to take the document, uh, and it was in an envelope. Um, and she took the document, and, and as soon as she took it, she began, you know, I don't know, I can't do that, I can't do that, you know. But we were already on our way out the door because we don't have any, we don't have any conversation for them. They don't, we don't speak the same language, and so we left it there. Uh, we also delivered it to um, John Wilson, who is the tax assessor. Are doing business as the tax assessor, rather, <clears throat> because we're the tax assessor. We know that. We're the sovereign tax assessor on the land, and there is no other. And so we deliver it to, to their building um, the document. There was no one there to hand the document to, um, so we left it at the front door. Uh, so, and if you know that, you know, when the, when the fake sheriff Whenever they would come and do things, you know, on the land, they would just tape it to the door, or you know, they put it on the they put it on on the windshield of someone's conveyance, et cetera, et cetera, and then you're responsible for it. Well, um, if there was no one available, we went ahead and and still left it there, and then we also delivered one to the public utility. Uh, the one doing business as public utility. And we ended up taping that one onto their entryway, right where they where they come in at, they have a little pad, keypad that they type their codes in. We we put it there. Um, that way they can receive it because 
you know, they're claiming the property. Um, yes, I see. I know. I know. But it's black in Islam. Uh, they're they're unlawfully occupying those places, and they should not be there. So we're calling them into court so that we can have a word with them about that. Uh, we're just going to have them state their name and nationality. So we've begun doing postmaster duties where we deliver directly to them in the territory. And then any of the documents that um, that need to go, for example, I had documents that needed to go all the way over to the East Coast, then we use the mailing process that we did on YouTube. We did a, a YouTube video on a mailing process that works when we send things over where we don't have to pay fiat. And um, if at any time that process does not work, then, you know, because we know that things are shutting down on that end, then um, until we get into our places there uh, and we want to do so peacefully, we, we can post things out on the public record, do a, do a quick video or a snapshot on social media and say, hey, uh, this is public notice. You have a court date on this date. Uh, at this time, this is the contact information where you need to be at, at this time. Uh, and, and this is, this is for the public to see. And then make sure that your page is public. My page is public on Facebook. Um, so anyone, whether you, whether you're on the friend list or not, you can still see it. And then <clears throat> I also, uh, distribute or tribute it to the Moorish American Concept pages. So those are some demonstrations that we've begun because the post office here, the Sovereign United States Post Office, in red in all lowercase letters, which is really us, uh, they, we were hypothecated unlawfully by them, um, but we're still the Moorish National Republic Federal Government, de jure, de jure, de jure, and sovereign always. And then all of the governments together are the United States, which is who they hypothecated. But we're the United States in red and all lowercase letters. Um, we wanted to talk basically uh, about uh, about that briefly. I wanted to show you just a couple of things with regard to sovereignty. Um, some people may think that, oh, you know, um, they haven't proven that they're a government, blah, blah, blah. They, we don't know if they're de jure, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we don't have anything to prove to anybody because we know who we are. However, um, every now and then we, we put some things out there just for people to chew on and to study and to do further study into it. Uh, sovereignty, the key to statehood. This piece came from the... Um, a document called the Law of Peace, and um, that law of, if you Google it, it's, it's in black ink, so you already know that it was done by the, uh, the foreigners. But where sovereignty is concerned, so a sovereign state, it says here, a sovereign state does not rely for its juridical existence on anything foreign to itself. And the reason I wanted to point that out is because we're very sovereign. We have our own courts. Juridical has everything to do with the law. And um, in support of the existence on anything foreign to itself, we are going to begin ensuring that all of the property at North America is not foreign to us any longer. <clears throat> I'm excited about that because that's a process that we began um, in 2018. But really, we all began the process of nationalizing our property when we first declared our sovereign status on the public record. So all Moors are doing that, and all Moors are responsible for for um, showing and standing and knowing who who we are. Um, so we're going to do a. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'd like to put a demonstration before you today, um, with regard to the existence of anything foreign, because we've been using the resources on the land, but those who are at those places have not been acting as subject as they should. 
We know that the resources, all of the resources belong to the heirs. We know that. But there are some things that we needed to do that um, we're, we're in the process of doing so that um, the things that we use are no longer foreign, okay? They weren't foreign ever in the first place, but we have to, to show our ancestors and the ancestral energies and one another and ourselves. We have to show ourselves that everything belongs to us, and we do that by doing the things that we've been doing, proclaiming our nationality, terminating corporate contracts, sovereign, uh, placing sovereign declaration and proclamation of trust on the public record in red in all lowercase letters, leaning and doing sovereign Moorish American Council court actions and United States court actions as well. The, the Council court is for uh, diversity of nationality issues and diversity of citizenship issues, and we don't have citizenship, we have nationality. And um, the United States courts, and that's United States in red and all lowercase letters, which were unlawfully hypothecated. Those courts are for things like what we are doing now, where all of us are the same, and all of us are speaking in our sovereign voices, presenting ourselves, because no one speaks for us and no one, no one, no one represents us. And that's what we use to make our sovereign uh, verdicts and, and judgments and justice and proclamations. Um, when you talk about the legitimacy, and, we, and legitimate is not a, not a good term uh, because it's a, it's, a, it's a fuel term. We use the term lawful. No, you're not. Okay. Um, and so just one moment. Let me make sure that I say, 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 say something else so that I can find you. Um, and so when it comes to law, uh, because we are the only lawful court on the land, and um, we're the only lawful government on the land, that's, that's made evident. It's clear. So when you talk about um, de jure government here, the jure recognition, because people say, you know, what about recognizing and blah, blah, blah. This is written, again, it's in black ink, so it's not written by us. It's written by the fakes, the usurpers. But even by their standards, the jure recognition is withheld from the usurper until, and we're not usurpers, we're actually the true government and the true law, until it has legally validated its position position usually by conducting free elections. We've already had our first election. We did that a couple of weeks back, a week or two ago, where we voted to open, reopen, or restore the Treasury. That's an election, yay or nay, aye or nay. That's an election. In, in what we're doing here, it, we're all sovereign, so there's no reason for us not to continue speaking all with the same authority. Um, from my perspective, we don't really vote on people as much as we do on issues. And I'm not saying voting on people is bad. I'm just saying we prefer at this time to vote on issues as a nation and as a government because I think that, you know, um, there's too much energy, counterproductive energy that's related to electing people to lead sovereigns. No one leads the sovereigns. We all lead ourselves. Having said that, with regard to um, elections, um, we have been, uh, we've, we've restored the treasury, et cetera, et cetera. And so I would like uh, to put before you um, a 
something that we can all speak to today, like we did previously, um, where we we say I for yes and nay for no. Um, I've been doing some study on both the Universal Postal Union and the um, and the post office. And we know that through our study, they are uh, that we we assign them to be the basis of the financial system. And so that's why all Moors are the um, postmasters. All Moors, all of us are postmasters. And so with all of us being postmasters. Um, I would like for us to, um, I did some research in looking at the numbers that the post office has been doing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we want to nationalize the post office officially by our sovereign word. And not only by our sovereign word, but we want to put a sovereign instrument from the treasury on the public record together. Um, that is showing a lawful sovereign exchange has taken place where the post office has been um, accounted for properly by us. So I looked uh, out on the web and looked for different um, resources on, you know, what should this, uh, what should we say, you know, how much the instrument should be, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when it comes to the post office. And I found an article that I posted uh, online, but I can post the um I can post the link to the article in the chat. Um, I wanted us to do a demonstration where we place a sovereign instrument from the Treasury and from this government, which is all more, on the public record and um some of the one of the one of the main um, sources of information I found said that if the USPS U.S. Postal Service, which again they're claiming all everything supposedly, but we know that when we place our sovereign documents on the public record, we're not giving them anything. We are the treasury. We are the quote unquote buyer. We are also the seller, <laughs> so to speak. And it's not a buy and sell situation. All it is is saying that's ours. And and we know how to um, to state that on the public record where commerce is concerned. And then once we place the instrument on the public record, watch the changes that are taking place. And then continue going about our day as we have been doing our sovereign demonstration and just seeing how things turn out peacefully. So um, when I looked up the, you know, what the instrument should be for, um, and again, a few years, uh, a few years back, about a year and a half back, we put an instrument on the public record, 666 trillion. So we're basically just pulling from the 666 trillion and saying, okay, we're going to put this says if the USPS were publicly traded, it would be worth very roughly between 50 billion and 70 billion based on profitability and size. That easily makes it the third largest non-rail logistics company by value in America. Um, and that came from um, an a, a, a story in Barron's, and Barron's has uh, is a is a subsidiary of the Dow Jones, where um, and again, we don't take their word for anything. We we do our own study because we already know they were they were unlawfully claiming things anyway. So we want to put a sovereign credit instrument on the public record for between 50 and 70 billion, um, and coming from the Treasury and from this government, placing it on the public record, saying that the post office belongs to the people. The post office all of its equipment to include all uh, 
travel equipment because they have planes and trucks and all of this kind of stuff. Um, they also have um, services, ID, ID services that we would use for national IDs and not for passports or anything like that because we don't need their passports because that's unlawful fraudulent documents. But we would tailor the instruments so that national IDs can be done there um, in red, in all lowercase letters, et cetera. And um, also make it so that, you know, we're changing the money system there. And we know that that system has already been put in place. It never left. It's always been there. It's just that we had to competently stand and speak together like we've been doing, which I'm just so proud of us because um, we're putting these meetings on of, of this sovereign Congress on the public record where we're actually voting to do things to, ch to make the changes on our land. So um, all of those in favor of putting, uh, let's, let's say, 50 billion, a $50 billion United States gold-backed treasury instrument on the public record for the post office and all of its equipment. That includes the Universal Postal Union and everything that we originally, you know, this, and this is not a request. This is a command that we're putting on the public record. So we're not asking anyone, at, you know, any of the fakes for anything, and we're not giving them anything. All we're saying is this is ours, and we have the commercial sovereign competent exchange to prove it. And then we just put it on the public record, and, and, and then um, we, as the United States Treasury, we can look at our treasury and say, okay, 50 billion came out for this, and 100 million came out for that, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? And then we watch the changes happen. And then we keep doing our sovereign demonstrations, except that we all, and I'll place the instrument under this video if we all, you know, if we agree uh, in the majority. To do so, and the reason we say I for yes, and I see you in the chat. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps at, at, at the eyes. Um, as we do this, um, we watch the changes that are taking place, and and again, we're going to just nothing's really going to change for us in terms of the demonstrations that we do. It's just that watch how the demonstrations work when we do these kinds of things. And then, after a while, our flags are going to have to go up, at, you know, because we've already put our flag up at the post office here, and they took it down because we had not done this part right here. And then we also have to, we actually have to prepare to do the work. We have to prepare to do the work, okay? Um, and that whole financial system and the treasury and all of that, uh, trust and know, please know that our ancestors are not going to leave us high and dry on that part either if, if you only knew the information just in the last 24 to 48 hours that have come, has come to us with regard to the Treasury. We have the keys, and all we have to do is speak this way, this way that we're speaking now. So um, I'm going to unmute and all in favor of putting a 50 billion, because we don't want to put the highest number, um, and we don't really want to put the lowest number, so, so let's say 65, we'll go right in the middle, 65 um, billion dollar instrument on the public record for the Treasury, uh, from the Treasury for the post office. Uh, I'll unmute and, and please, this is for the eyes, and then we'll have a second unmute for the name. All of those in favor. Aye. 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 
As long as you give your beard, right. yeah. As long as you give your beard, yeah. Islam, 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 Islam. Okay. Islam. Islam. Okay. Um. And now I'm going to mute and then unmute for the name for the name. Um. Just one moment. Um. Let me. Um. Okay, and then I'm go now all those that are not in favor say nay, and I'm going to unmute everyone. And if there are any nays, say nay. And if there are, if you if if you have already said I, then then um, please be quiet so that we can hear if there are any nays. Are there any nays? Uh, Are there any names? Are there any names? Islam. Okay, uh, it is Islam. unanimous. Okay, um, it is unanimous. And um, I am going to, if you have any noise in your background, if you please mute again. So that we can um, move forward so with can, regard um, to move forward that is unanimous um, that's a unanimous uh, vote by the people to place a 65 billion dollar uh, sovereign instrument on the public record for the post office and all of its equipment all of its systems uh, all of its information everything that has to do with the air we are placing that on the public record this week. We are also, uh, we have one final court action that we're going to put on the public record this week with regard to those doing business as postmaster, um, et cetera. Uh, let me see. That court action, those who, and, and we might as well put them on notice now, um, those who are um, on uh, Islam, uh, let me let me uh, unlock the meeting. There are some who who are wanting to come in. Um, let's see. Let me just make sure they can get back in. There they are. Um, so, okay, uh, James Bay, so there was some, Islam, glad you, you made it nobility. We want to make sure that, um, those who are, are, that everyone can get in. Your Majesty, are you on the line? You don't look fucking stupid. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Are you on the line, Your Majesty? Yes, you sound so fucking stupid. Yes, one moment. That's the kind of um, stuff that we... Let me just make sure. I want to make Your sure... Your Majesty. Have, just one moment. Okay. Um, so we, uh, Louis DeJoy, doing business as Postmaster General and CEO of the U.S. Postal Service in capital letters, uh, is, he has... Taraji, a, what the fuck is going on, Taraji, the Moorish Bay? American, uh, with the Moorish American Concert Court on... Uh, let's see. His court date is um, 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Uh, let's see, is this right? Yes, Wednesday, January. You think Janiyah could learn how to pronounce live? 
January 27th. Um, so that's Louis DeJoy, 11 a.m. Pacific, Wednesday, January 27th. Um, also, who else? Gary Barksdale doing business as Chief Postal Inspector, the U.S. Postal Service, same time. That's Wednesday, January 27th, 1441 on the Moon Calendar, 2021 on the Greco-Roman. And um, we'll just say this to Gary Barksdale. Gary Barksdale, you are a Moorish American national. You need to wake up, know who you are. In the interim, you're acting as a civilian, and you're also acting in a corporate capacity, which is unlawful. Therefore, um, you are you have a court date at the same time as, as Louis DeJoy. Uh, Peter Pastre, Vice President, doing business as Vice President, U.S. Postal Service. You as well, Jeffrey Adams, doing business as Vice President of Corporate Communications. You as well. Robert J. Miller, Postmaster, doing business as Postmaster at Auburn, Washington, you have the same time, 11 a.m. Pacific, which is 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, and we'll be posting that on the public record as well. Um, we'll be posting that on the public record um, today, as a matter of fact. That way you, we give you plenty of time to attend. Um, as well as, um, and I believe there's one other, Sandra Cook, doing business as district manager in the Washington Territory, Seattle, Washington Territory. Um, all of you have court dates, 11 a.m. on uh, Wednesday. January 27, 1441. Um, for, uh, the, the cause of this action is unlawful occupation of sovereign, original, indigenous, ancient, ancestral lands. Uh, you will be required, it is mandatory, both your attendance and that you state your name and nationality for the record. We are the sovereign jurisdiction over, over all matters at all times and at all points in time. And the American Provost Marshal has been notified. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish that part of the demonstration as well, and um, and then we'll we'll proceed as uh, as follows. Thank you so much to the sovereign heirs. Um, let it be known that 65 million in United States dollars gold backed in red and all lowercase letters will be uh, coming from the treasury. Um, and that way uh, the, the financial system will begin to do what we need it to do. It's going to be using sovereign credit, gold backed sovereign credit. Do I know how long that's going to take? I do not. In fact, I know, I'm pretty sure it's immediate. In fact, we've been using sovereign credits already. Um, and then everyone who has put um, liens on the public record and court actions on the public record, those are gold back documents. So you're already circulating gold back currency. Uh, liens are indeed currency. So we need the whole system to align with that. Um, we have all that we need in order to continue moving in this direction and making sure that um, the systems do as they are commanded. One thing that I do want to say is that, you know, as we move in this manner together, there's strength in our numbers, okay? And when we make a move like this and we place the instrument on the public record, when we go into the territories and we go to these places, because we're going to do this over the next coming weeks with different places, we, you know, Walmart has to get in alignment. Uh, they got to be in red in all lowercase letters so that they can, oh, uh, but I wanted to also state that the treaty and the Constitution for the United States 
is the charter for the post office now that we are placing this on the public record. Um, and so, you know, and our sovereign status will be honored at all times. And then as we go out into the territories, you know, we don't really have to change a whole lot. Um, just continue peacefully doing our demonstrations uh, so that, and then just kind of keep your eye open for the changes as you see them being more agreeable and um, doing what they need to do as far as honoring our sovereign status. And then we're going to get in and do whatever we need to do as well. Uh, any inspections that need to be done, we're going to do those. Uh, any records that need to be looked at, we'll do those, et cetera, et cetera. But so far, the records have been presenting themselves, and we've not even had to leave our domicile. So let's just keep going in this direction. Um, and then finally, uh, I wanted to I wanted us to take a look briefly at there is a document that we're going to be decapitalizing that tells us how to proceed. And of course, we can make our own edits to it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I wanted us to take a look at that document briefly because there's some really important things in it that we need to see. So let me see if I can pull that up, that document up. I think this is it right here. Nope, that's not it. Um, just one moment. Okay, here's the here it is. Let me see if I can get this to pop up really quickly. There it is. Okay. Um, okay, so the title of um, the document that I wanted us to look at is called Military Government and Civil Affairs. Um, it is in black ink, it has capital letters, so we do have to decapitalize and decolonize the, the, the document because it's going to be important that, um, let's see, that we make it so that, um, that it's applicable to us. So some of the terminology that we'll see in the document uh, again, this is why they said we did not know how to read. We know how to read now, you know. And so we know that when we look at their stuff, we can fix it. We can decapitalize it and make it what it should be. Um, let me go back up and see if I can find this document on here. Okay, I have it here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to see if I can share share my screen with you here. There it is, right there. Okay. There's the document right there. It's called the Law of Peace. Okay, and um, this document, this is volume one of the document. So, and again, capital letters, black ink. We already know we got to fix that. Um, but we're going to take a few things out of this document and um, take a look at them because 
this document basically is, is essentially kind of like a roadmap of how we're going to be moving uh, forthcoming. The systems on the other side have fallen. And so now all we need to do is um, continue staying together and moving in a manner that makes it so that the peace remains on the land, but that we have full access to everything. That's what all of this is about, is, is gaining access to that which is ours. Okay. Um, let me see if I can pull it down and, and open it up for you. And the way that we do that is by is by rebutting everything that they've said and done. Okay. Um, that's what the purpose of the instruments are for. They've done everything by commerce. And we thought that we had to go into their fiat system and do things we don't. We don't have to do that. We can actually use gold and silver the same way that the fake corpses have been doing. It's not, this is the thing that I've noticed just since I've been going, uh, been being tested in that area is that none of them have been even using the same system. So when it comes to money systems, Walmart, for example, Walmart was using its own money. It wasn't using anything from the Federal Reserve. That is why you could download an app and put quote unquote money on it and that app was accepted at Walmart but not at Target or not at some other place because they were converting, they were doing money exchange. They were exchanging fiat for whatever it is that they have. Same thing with some of the grocery stores. Um, things like Cash App and things like that don't work at the grocery store. Even though it's supposed to be the same money, I'm sorry, the same, well, fiat or in our case, sovereign credit. And so um, the, the money system is splintered and they're not talking to one another, et cetera, et cetera. So we can fix all of that. And that's what we're going to do. Um, step by step, we're going to bring everything together. Um, so now I want to, let's go to page three point, I, I just want to, uh, point out just a couple of things on this roadmap. This uh, document talks about everything from what sovereign status is, and that, this is what I was reading, um, and international law. So the definition of sovereignty that I gave earlier and the definition of um, de jure came from this document. This document talks about inequitable features of international law and how to fix that. Um, it also talks about, um, and, and again, international law and um, evolving states. We are not, we're, we're ancient, so we've been here the whole time. However, we are just finding, you know, we're just exercising our sovereign ability, okay? On a, in a manner that we've not done before. And so we want to keep moving in that direction. So if you have an opportunity to read this document and read through it with, uh, with a third eye open, knowing that we do have to change it, um, and we do have to decolonize and decapitalize it. Here, let me bring up some of the, some of the pages. Um, this is where I was reading from before. The status of recognized and unrecognized states and governments under municipal law, et cetera, et cetera. Um, these are some things that we, um, uh, here, here's, a, here's an important piece right here. Sovereign immunity from suit. Under the doctrine of sovereign immunity, it is the traditional rule that a foreign state may not be sued without its consent in the courts of another state. Thus, United States courts may not bring a foreign sovereign before the U.S. bar, not because of comity, but because that state has not submitted itself to U.S. laws. Now, is that not pertinent to what we're doing? 
It is, absolutely. So they were never supposed to be, we were never supposed to be in those courts anyway. We never, we never consented to it. However, our land must always be lawful. And there was no alternative court or a higher court, no matter how many courts they put out there, they put out their district courts, common law courts, blah, blah, blah courts, this court, that court, Supreme Court, municipal court, traffic court, uh, family court, blah, blah, blah. They're all the same. They're all courts, so the corporations, state courts. And until we provided the superior sovereign court for the sovereign that worked in the favor of the sovereign and our sovereign status, until we did that, they were going to keep forcing us in there until somebody got it in their head that, and, and our grand sheik has, has had, had no the whole life. time. Yes. Uh, would yes. you read the rest of that passage you were reading from? Because it does have very, very pertinent information to the people thinking they have to go to these places for any permission. But if you read that, it makes it quite clear. Yes. And I'll, uh, sure, I'll read that. Let's see. Um, Just the balance of that paragraph, if you would. Okay. Let me put it back up here. All right. Um, and let me see if I can get it back on the screen, too. There. Okay, can you see it on the screen there, Justice? Okay, let me read the balance of that. Um, so uh, I'll start from, from where it says, sovereign immunity from suit. Under the doctrine of sovereign immunity, it is the traditional rule that a foreign state may not be sued without its consent in the courts of another state. Thus, United States courts may not bring a foreign sovereign before the U.S. bar, not because of comity, but because that state has not submitted itself to U.S. laws. And see, people were always saying, they think they're above the law. We are the law. <laughs> we are the law. It says, this result depends not upon recognition or non-recognition by the United States, but upon fundamental considerations regarding the nature of sovereignty. Okay? So it doesn't matter whether they recognize us or not. It does not matter. We're not the same as them. But we had to stand together together and say in high numbers like we're doing, we're not the same as you. And now that we have stood, they actually have to sit because corporations cannot govern. So we have to, all of that has to be kept in mind. All of this has to be kept in mind. And um, I will put here. And this is again called the Law of Peace, Volume One, and it's a U.S. Department uh, of the Army document. So they've always known that. Always known that. But we had to stand up and speak, and then know the law ourselves. Now, while this it says here that this is a traditional rule. We hereby speak it as law that we're not a part of them. And we've been saying that. We're just putting it on the public record yet again, asserting our sovereign jurisdiction, stating that we are not a part of that. We have, when we do not consent to going before a U.S. bar. We do not submit ourselves to U.S. corporate law. We are the United States in red and all lowercase letters who they hypothecated attempted to, because we're still here. We haven't gone anywhere. So we want to make that clear, and um, we want to ensure that the heirs are aware of their sovereign status as well. We want to put that forth as often as possible 
that our sovereign status is not to be placed in state court. Okay, so um, let's um, keep that in mind. Uh, and here I'm going to again put in the chat a link to that document. Um, and then if you want to go out onto the uh, onto Facebook, I have um, a link to the document out on my Facebook page at Light to Jerry Bay page. And it's a public page so anybody can go and look at it. L-I-G-H-T space Tajiri is T-A-J-I-R-I Bay, B-E-Y, on Facebook. So, um, and then also I'll put a, a copy, a link to this, to that document under this video on YouTube. Are there any questions about any of, of what we've done um, over the next few weeks? Islam, yes. Um, Justice, uh, can you put a link to what came up on Google for it? Can you put that link in the chat if you can? This is Mikael. Let me try. Yeah, I, I just Googled uh, Law of Peace Volume 1 and it came up. Oh, good, good. They should be able to, to get it. Um, so, Thank you all for for us all sticking together and continuing to possess our land. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be, uh, I believe, most likely at least every call or at least every week, we're going to be uh, placing another um, instrument on the public record so that we can proclaim another uh, property on our land. And we, we're, we're trying to do the most overarching things that we can do to assist our nation. Um, the most overarching thing is going to be something where everyone can go to, a, everyone can get to a post office because there are post offices everywhere. So we want to do things that are along those lines so that it can affect them and, and assist the most more at the, at the, you know, as quickly as possible. Um, are there any other questions or comments, et cetera, at all about any of the things that we've done so far? Islam. Or any demonstrations? Islam. Islam. This is Timothy Hashan Bay in Virginia Territory. I would like to, if I will, sis, uh, compliment on that document that you just revealed to us with the code. Code Title 18, yes. Section 911. Is anyone ever aware of that code? Islam. Some may be in some. Some may be in, and some some may not be. Go ahead, Justice, what, and tell us well, what it states. What it states: Whoever falsely and willingly pre represent himself as a citizen of the United yes. States will be prosecuted yes. and will be fined, or both. Yes. Yes. I wonder how many of us is aware of that. And this is what justifies yes. being sovereign. We must stay yes. there. Because once yes. we come out of that, again, we can be violated in prison. Matter of fact, it said yes. three to four years. Islam. Yes. Yes. Now, let me say this because that's very important. When you put that in red in all lowercase letters, it's going to actually protect us again on the other side. Islam. Islam. Because that means no, you're not going to come into a meeting and say that you're the bays and the L's in all lowercase letters and, and get away with that. Absolutely. You see? So when we put it in red in all lowercase letters, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap once again. All U.S. codes are supposed to be in red in all lowercase letters, but with our, us doing it, us putting that code the way that it should be. Thank you, sis. You know. Yes, thank you for that. That's beautiful. 
And that's going to stop all of that foolishness of people pretending to be the heirs when they know they're not. Absolutely. Even if it's just to get into our meeting. Mm. And then if they like attempt that. to, and then if they attempt to go beyond that, there's another code. I think is is either eighteen twenty three thirty one, and it's an international terrorism law. We need to be inquired about that too. And I will be putting that in red as also. Yeah, Islam. Islam. See, everything that they've been using out there, all the U.S. codes to include the Constitution, the treaty, anything that we see out there, even their quote-unquote state um, rules and regulations, all we have to do is take all of that, the ones we want to use, and I'm going to mute you, Nobility, because there's a little bit of feedback coming yes, from, your, from, your, from your line. Thank you for that. That's valuable information. See, that's what that's what I'm saying. When we come together like this, we, we, we're going to get the right information because we all can, can contribute and contribute information to one another. So, you know, as we c continue to move in this manner, we're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. And so um, all, of the, all of those documents out there, any state, quote, unquote, treaty, there are over four, there are actually about 300 and something, 354, something like that treaty that were capitalized that as, as the nations continue to, to stand and wake up and find out who we are and all of that, um, we can use any of those treaties when we decapitalize them. And here's the thing about the treaty, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship, when you look at it from the, from the place of the corporates and how they did it, that one in the Library of Congress, it's not a Treaty of Peace and Friendship. It's actually a war document. It talks about if there's a war, then this happens. If, if, if the parties be at war, then that happens. Well, then that ought to tell us right there that when they put the words peace um, and friendship in capital letters, they, that's the opposite of what they mean. So when we put the treaty in red in all lowercase letters and we delivered that to the United States Corporation Company military, not as a contract with them, but to notify them that our land is peaceful, then that's what we really mean, that it does mean peace and that, you know, and we put in there, um, just one moment, and we put in there, that there that it's a it's a peace document. You know, and we mean that. We're not we're not we're not joking about that. That that we really mean that it's a peace document. So um Justice Lewis, Anthony, um I believe everyone can still hear me. Can can everyone hear me? Because I'm still coming up on the sound here. Islam. Islam. Yeah, they can still hear. So um, you may need to uh, go out and come back in or, or something like that, and I'll, I'll unlock the meeting if you need to do that. So, uh, But we're just about done. Um, are there any other questions or comments? Does everyone have a letterhead and the seals so that you can be sealing your documents, et cetera? Does everyone have what they need for all of that? Islam, um, I would like to know where you order the new uh, seal. The um, the new seals, and I'll I'll put links to the new seals in the chat because I put it they're out on social media. Um, but I'll go ahead and put put the put the link to them in the chat. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Islam interest. Could you also put it in your Facebook? Yes, it's on Facebook. Uh, I'm actually pulling it from Islam. Facebook. <laughs> Let's see. Um, in fact, let me just go to the drive and put those links there. So when you have an opportunity to read um, the document that uh, the, the law of peace, 
please um, read through it because it gives step by step uh, also further down in the document how we're going to proceed uh, in terms of what to do next. Uh, how we should be securing the territory, um, how we should be securing um, the schools, how we should be securing, you know, the uh, the most necessary resources, etc. Um, here is in the chat a link to. There's a link to the government seal and then underneath that I'll put the link to the consulate seal. And then here's the link to the consulate seal. So um, th this document will, it, it, this is it's a step-by-step -step document. Um, specifically, uh, there's one, oh, I'm sorry, this is this, that's a different document that I'm uh, referring to. It's called Military Government and Civil Affairs. That one we definitely need to look at. Um, just briefly, we'll look at it briefly. But it, it, it is the one that, that goes step-by-step, -step, and I'm going to put a link to it in the chat as well. This one is going to be under. This one is going to be under the video, on YouTube, so that you can have it, because it it's it's priceless. This document that I just put in the chat, priceless, in terms of uh, military government and civil affairs. With regard to military government and civil affairs, this is this document is from 1943. And um, it, just one moment, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pull it up on the screen. Where definitions are concerned, military government is defined as sovereign, original, indigenous, the jure, Moorish, American, Al Moroccan peacekeepers. That's really what military government is. We are the law, we are the government. And so, um, and then they're talking about civil affairs. We know that we're not uh, civil rights are for citizens. We're not that. Um, we are national. Um, when it talks about civil affairs here, that's where we're going to be modifying the document and changing it and uplifting the document so that we can uh, put it in its proper status, putting it in red in all lowercase letters and changing civil affairs to Moorish affairs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the, I'm going to put, let me just put this on the screen so you can see it. Just so that you, um, and the reason I'm pointing this out is because we, ha we absolutely know exactly where we're going in terms of our, our you know, our nation and our government. Um, We, and we, we, can, we know by looking at what they're doing and then cleaning it up and uplifting it and putting it in its proper status and making sure that uh, we take it out of anything that has to do with corporate. That, there it is right there. It's on the screen. Okay. Um, I want to show you just a couple of things in this document and then we'll be, and then we'll conclude for today. Um, On page nine of this document, and this this will just also show you that we have absolutely been doing exactly what we should. Um, let's see. Please read this document. It's very important because it's going to talk about all that we need for to do. Um, let's see. We want to go to page nine. That's the first uh, page nine. Uh, I want to show you that even before we receive this document, 
Because we were doing what the ancestors told us to do, we've already been in alignment with the document. Okay. Um, here on page nine of the document, it says, uh, well, the title of the document is United States Army and Navy Manual of Military Government and Civil Affairs. It's dated the 22nd of December, 1943. There's a link to it in the chat. And again, we are not, we, we are without the United States Corporation Company. Anything in black, uh, in, using capital letters, we don't deal with it. What we do is take these documents and decapitalize them and decolonize them and use them. But they're not used until we thoroughly go through them, like we're doing now. We're going to go through just a little bit of this document. Here on page nine, retention of local government departments and officials. Now this is, now that we are putting on our uniform, our peacekeeping uniform, and we're doing things throughout the territory, in terms of delivering our mail, uh, our, our mailings, our parcels, holding court actions, et cetera. We're already doing those things. Um, here at part three, we want to focus right here. It says, usually it will be necessary to remove high-ranking political officials from office. Okay? I want to focus on that one sentence right there. And when you have time, you can read the rest of it. But on May the 27th, 2020, we removed Donald Trump from that office. On May 27th, 2020, by way of sovereign court action, and it's out on YouTube at Life to Jerry Bay on YouTube, we did a court action where we removed him and all of those doing business as governor from their offices. And so a second term for him was not in, that's not, that's not a thing. Not a thing. Why? Because we're governing. We are the law and we are the government. And when we do things competently, they have to do what we say. But one thing they're not going to do is leave all of the resources unmanned and unmanaged. So what we're doing is, as we're competent to do it, we remove them from it, and then we govern it peacefully and lawfully. That's what this is all about. So he was not supposed to have any other term, et cetera, et cetera. And then we all know that when we remove them, we remove all ages, principals, heirs, and assigned. That means that the one doing business as Joe Biden, et cetera, et cetera, no authority here. No authority over the heirs, none whatsoever, none. The land belongs to the heirs, okay? And so that is why you're seeing the turmoil is because the heirs keep speaking. And when we say that they they can't, do something. They can't do it when we're competent and we're peaceful. We didn't do anything where we're warring with him, etc. We're not warring with anyone. In fact, we're we're sending them off and we're peaceful. Peaceful and then we're actually doing the work every day, governing our territory. All of us are. And now that there's so many of us governing our territories, we don't need anyone pretending to be a fake governor. We don't need the actors. We don't need their policy enforcers. We're the police. We're the law enforcement. We're all of that. We're the military because, believe it or not, military and policy enforcers in their section, by their corporate standards, they're the same. They get their paycheck from the same place. They, their documents come from the same place and everything. We just didn't know that the policy enforcers were actually the military. So we've actually been under quote unquote martial law when we thought we were citizens. A lot of people don't know that, but didn't they act like it when they were roughing people up and all of that? Yes, they did. That, that, those were not peace actions. Those were war actions. And so, um, we're now moving throughout the territories and beginning to do the things that we need to do. Okay. And where the post office is concerned, we're going to monitor closely 
uh, all that's going on with that. We ask that, because you can't tell sovereigns what to do, we ask that the sovereigns uh, in the territory, everything that you do, don't you don't have to change anything that you've been doing. If you've been demonstrating, demonstrate. Um, we still don't need to really have too much conversation with them. We really don't. Um, we need to just keep doing our demonstrations, keep sending our documents where they need to go, etc., and then just watch and see the systems do what they need to do. Because we're not talking to them, we're talking to a system. They let us know that it was a system when they said that a machine was doing the voting. But we've known it's a system that's doing it because they don't have the authority to do anything unless they get consent from us. Then they hop in the seat of the system and start operating things that have to do with the system as if we can't do it. But now we're doing it. Okay, so this is, we got this. We can do it. Please read this document when you have an opportunity to read through it because it, it, it is a directive in terms of we're going to be decolonizing, decapitalizing it, et cetera, because it tells us what to do. There's also um, here um, on page 11 of this document, on page 11 of the document, this is page, yes, page 11 of the document. It talks about economics and, and, and how that needs to go. Here at number one, uh, well, let's just start right here at economics. The basic economic policy of the United States military government is twofold. Now, again, we're going to be putting this in red in all lowercase letters. First, to revive economic life and stimulate production in order to reduce to a minimum the needs of the area for United States and allied assistance and to develop the area as a source of supply for further operations and second, to use available goods and services as efficiently as possible for the satisfaction of military and civilian needs. Corollaries of this basic policy include the following, an equitable distribution of necessities such as food, fuel, medicine, and clothing should be instituted as quickly as possible. And that is what we're, <clears throat> that's the direction we're moving in, in terms of starting first with the post office, placing the instrument on the public record so that we can, then, because, the, because the financial system was based on that in the first place, was based on us and the post office. And then we said, okay, the post office is where everything is supposed to start, Universal Postal Union. This way, we, we change the whole earth with just the decision that we made today as a nation to put that instrument on the public record. Um, and further, it says here on page 11, to this end, it will be necessary to reestablish to some degree at least public utility, we'll be dealing with them in the coming weeks, transportation, communications, and trade. So we're going to pick, and, and this is something that all Moors can do in their territory. Um, these public utilities started somewhere with a basic company somewhere, and we know, we know that in this area it started at Richland. The whole grid starts there at Richland. Richland, Washington Territory, even on their website, the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, they have both a corporate address and then they have an allodial address that does not have a zip code. So we're going to be focusing our attention there with regard to sovereign instruments and ensuring that utilities, because see, public utilities, there was never, no one was paying for that but us even, you know, those of us who remember way back in the day, Public utilities were just on, and no, there was no exchange of fiat, even in the fiat system. That was just something that came with being on the land. No one paid for public utilities. But then the corporations got in the way, and they started saying that if you don't pay us, we're going to turn this off and that off and this off and that off. 
And so we're putting a stop to all of that. Okay? That's what all of this is all about. And we're doing it together as a nation, as one. And that's what our ancestors designed all of this to be. So um, one last point in this document on page 16. I want to pull page 16 up because it's important that we know that everything that we've been doing has been absolutely what it should be. Page 16 talks about courts and law. The establishment and administration of military commissions and provost courts and the determination of their jurisdiction and procedure. Supervision and control or closing of local criminal and civil courts. Supervision of the local bar, and we're actually closing down all of that. We've done it with our liens and, and et cetera. And um, those who do that in their sovereign territory, close those things can be closed down um, when you start doing court actions. You don't even really have to focus energy on closing them. Okay? Um, those things can be, um, those, they can be closed when we start doing our court actions. That means they're closed for us. All lawyers who are doing court actions, we don't have to go to those state courts. We just prove that with some of the documents that we've presented here, where sovereignty is concerned. If we don't consent to go there, we don't go because they're not talking to us anyway. Okay, so we're going to continue um, to drill down. Just one moment. Let me just make sure that everyone can hear. Can you all hear me? I just want to be sure. Islam. Yes. Islam. Islam yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Islam. Islam. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. So as we continue to move forward in all that we're doing, we're moving forward peacefully and with the least amount of attention being gathered towards what we're doing. Okay. We don't really need, you know, a million people, a million hits and views and blah, blah, blah. We don't need that. Right now, we're just moving in our sovereign capacity. <clears throat> and I'll tell you this also. I've gone to the grocery store a couple of times um, in my uniform, my peacekeeping uniform. And you would be surprised at the relief that people, uh, even with our flag there, they're not, you know, when they see peacekeeper, it is a welcome sight to them because that's not something there that they uh, associate with. Associate with um, military. And then as we're going through the through the territories, we actually have to be the peace. I had a situation where someone was trying to say something about a mask at Walmart here at, at Federal Way Territory. And um, against my better judgment, I, I began a dialogue with him, which I should not have done. And of course, we don't wear masks. They didn't have what I needed anyway. So I ended up leaving, you know, peacefully. It was not a, it was not a, um, you know, no one was yelling or anything like that. Um, but we don't even have to speak to them. We don't have to speak to them. Once we say we don't wear masks, um, and then another place that I went into, they said something about a mask, and, and the first thing I said was masks are not a part of our uniform. We don't want to be out of uniform. Masks are not a part of our uniform. And so that was honored, of course, but I wasn't going to wear I, Even when I'm not in uniform, I don't wear them. Um, so, uh, and we're peaceful when we even say those things, you know. So that's all we have for today um, that I wanted to share with you. Thank you for us continuing to move in a unified manner and to get things done. We'll put the document on the public record. And then uh, when we get it uh, out there, uh, we'll come and once the document has been prepared and signed, et cetera, um, we can, uh, uh, it will be on the public record so that everyone can see the document, et cetera, et cetera. Are there any other questions or comments, et cetera? Islam. Islam. 
I just wanted to talk about um, the straw man and the GMEI. Before I leaned the straw, um, there was over 10,081 corporations um, using the straw. And after I leaned the straw, I got my notifications back. I checked again, and it was down to 618. And so I'm going to continue to study so I'll know what to do the next step to eliminate that um, with the straw to make sure there are zero transactions going on. Thank you, are you? Islam. Um, you know, we lean the straw. I, whenever I did what I did with mine, uh, I don't even look. To, I don't even check behind all of that because our word is final. I mean, for those who want to check, you know, they can check if that's what you if that's what you want to do. Are you on but, the line, Your Majesty? I know for sure, but I know for sure that when when we lean and we do court actions, I know for sure it shuts them down. How do I know that? Because that when I when I did a court action on my straw, on the straw, not my straw, but that creature, there was a block put on the bank account. But I know I already know that that the block that was put on there was put on there not by fraud, but so that but, but that means we have Taraji. another step we need to take. Taraji, okay? what the fuck? We have another step that we need to take. So I'm not too concerned about it at all. In fact, I'm not concerned at all. I know that the uh, the ancestors are saying, okay, and, and it wasn't because the lean, I leaned the straw a long time ago, a long time ago. Um, we know that the straw has been using our resources. Bank accounts, et cetera, those are sovereign resource accounts. The, the credits that are in it are sovereign credits, especially when we terminate the corporate contracts. It's only when I did the court action on the straw, which I did on January 1st, because I knew I waited to do that. I leaned it a while ago. I did, um, you know, what I needed to do a while ago with regard to terminating the corporate contracts. But the minute I did the court action, it froze that account. And um, I know that that just means there are some other things that we need to do. The, the thing that we did today is one of them. Islam, and then, it, yes. I I just wanted to ask: Is that is your account still frozen? It it, it is. They they oh. were saying something about a W nine form. Okay? okay, it's only been about two weeks. They were saying something about a W nine form. Well, um, some Moors will send them a W nine affidavit, an affidavit for W nine. That that will I already know that if I did that that would unfreeze it. But in my opinion, and this is and it's not even an opinion, this is in my knower, that there's a bigger step we can take so that that never happens to a sovereign. And that's the step that we're taking. That whole system belongs to us. I could do a remedy for that, but I'm not gonna take the shortcut. I want the we're going for all the marbles, all everything. I want everything done right, and um, I know that we can, we can, uh, we'll get it done right. Islam, Islam, Islam. I would like to know: Does anybody have um, a template or something that I can kind of get a better understanding about the lane on the straw man? I have a few, but I want to compare um, a few more before I actually do it because I'm still doing my research as well. Um, I have one that I can, uh, there's a, yes, I have one that, um, you know, on the straw, but it, it, does anyone have one? Because I, I, I would love to see um, some of the other, some of the other liens in red and all lowercase letters. Empress, you can always take the lien template that's on the MoorishAmericanConsulate.org website and decapitalize it. Put it in red and all lowercase letters, and then anything that's corporate, put it in black and all uppercase letters. And that will be your template. Islam, thank you very much. Yes, Islam. So um, I believe that is all we have at this point. Um, if there be no – yes, Islam, please. 
uh, Ahamaya L. from Khalifa Territory. Um, the uh, document, United States Army and Navy uh, uh, Manual for uh, Government, Military, and Civil Affairs, um, I'm reading it mm -hmm. so that uh, um, I can use it when uh, dealing with the military because my uh, heir was abducted August 6th of this mm -hmm. uh, last year. <laughs> and so um, my plan is to uh, use that document to help me articulate um, when I when I deal with them to have them help me go get him. Well, um, here's the here's the here's the thing with the document and with that. We're not employing them any longer. We're not. Because they've not been assisting at all in terms of it's our turn. Okay. Now, they've been doing what we tell them to do up to now, but at some point we have to stand up and do it ourselves because it's our state. And we cannot continue to give a delegation of our sovereign authority to, to, to those who are not sovereign. So that's not something that I would do. And I, that's not something that I would suggest anyone do. We are the American Provost Marshal. So we're gathering now so that to stop those things from happening. So another one of the moves that we're, that we're making, and we've already placed some things on the public record as foundational documents to do this, we're going to, the same thing that we did with the post office today, we're going to do with, 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 with all the other equipment and things that we need, you know so that we'll have what we need in order to get heirs out and all of that. All of the, you know, the jails even belong to the heirs. And we can we can get heirs out of there and shut those things down. They need to be shut down. Because the heirs are going to be doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. So I would not use that document to hire someone else. That's not really, because they can't accept gold back anything. That's why we're not giving it to them. Mm -hmm. And we're not giving it to them because we're not going to enrich them any further to occupy our land unlawfully. We want them to go. So uh, what my suggestion with regard to your heirs is that you terminate all corporate contracts and keep them terminated. Don't go back to them. Keep them terminated and then do the study on liens and court actions where your heirs are concerned, in red, in all lowercase letters, and proper notification, etc. Okay. Um, um, Islam, I, I wanted to add to that my testimony. Um, I did serve um, the sheriff, Joe Lombardi, in the Las Vegas Territory, um, a habeas corpus, and he's still um, acting unlawful, and he hasn't, you know, um, upheld his upheld his oath. Excuse me. So um, I understand what you're saying in regards to um, who needs them? To lean them. Exactly. Yeah. Who, exactly. who, who needs them? With that, I yield. Like, um, I don't. Them? I don't know uh, where my son is. Okay. Um, do your research, Empress. You'll be able to find them. Do your research, and then. Because the one thing we know about them is that there's going to be some fake policy enforcers involved and there's going to be some someone doing business as child protective services. So find out who they are in your territory and then hunt him down. Islam, this hunt is your hair down. Hey, I'm find sorry. him. Um, just let you know, sister, I'm going through the same thing. My baby has also been kidnapped. She's 15 months, and so I'm dealing with the same thing that you're doing. So I send you much love and energy. And you all need to exchange information so that you can both be doing the same demonstrations where your heirs are concerned. Hunt them down. Do not let them get away with taking your heirs. Go ahead, Empress. Say that again. Say again, Empress? No, I yield, and I do recommend um, maybe we can connect with each other and, um, you know, go about the right demonstrations and things of that nature because, you know, it's always strength in numbers. Thank you. I'll uh, put my information in the chat. 
is Launceister. Um, yeah, all I know and is um, all I know is the people who say that they have him. But other than that, like who actually who actually has him, I have no idea. Um, I haven't seen him since he left. You know. Um, I'll tell you this: my research would not stop until I saw my heir. My research would not stop. It would not stop. There is uh, there is nothing more important than the heirs. My research would not stop. So don't let your research stop, Empress. And then get with uh, uh, Empress mm -hmm. Sade. And the two of you need to champion that cause. The two of you can be the shining example of what the Moors need to do when they're in that situation. Okay? And we're going to send right now some love and some peace and some light and some truth and some justice and some freedom to both of you and to all of the empresses who are going through that same thing. We're going to take about 30 seconds right now, and then we're going to keep sending that out into perpetuity, okay? So let's take about 30 seconds for all the heirs who've been taken under this that system. That's why we're doing what we're doing so that they don't have nothing, okay? And I started to use some language that's not noble language, but so that they don't have anything to exchange because they keep exchanging, trafficking, etc. We are fixing that. Our nation is fixing that. Each more, these two empresses, you two empresses who, who have that same situation going on, you're fixing that. You're going to fix it starting right now. Meanwhile, our our Peacekeepers are getting ready to do what we need to do in order to assist. Because, again, we have to start somewhere with all of this, and where we're starting right now is a great place. One step at a time, getting things done together peacefully. One step at a time. When we stop their commerce, that trafficking and stuff is stopping. We already see that we put a gigantic dent in it. They call it COVID, but we know that it's because we're saying you, you're going to stop the mess on, and the madness on this land. And that's what this is all about. That's why we're here every week, three times a week working through these processes, and now we're voting and electing together. And it's not even voting, it's electing to do things as a nation and as the government. This is the real Congress. This is the real law and the real government, the real peace and the truth and the light and the, and the justice and the freedom on the land. So emphasis. You have our support. Anything that we can do, let us know. The processes are there in red and all lowercase letters. And then be preparing. Get your peacekeeping uniforms together. Any emphasis who can sew. Um, I got white belt material from one of the one of the places out here. I got white white belt material. And I embroidered Peacekeeper on the belt material and then put it on my uniform in white. And then the Peacekeeper is in red. But we got to get ready to, to, you know, heirs need to be turned over to the military, the real military, the law, the government. And we don't even need, um, we don't even need um, weapons to do that. We got weapons. The weapons of our warfare aren't even carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. We know we pulled them down already. They need to give up the airs. 
but we got work to do. We got work to do. And then we have to come out of their system. And everything that we're doing right now is in, is for that right there, that for the heirs. Everything that we're doing right now is for the heirs. Empress Sade and Empress um, uh, Ahavaya, we we let's let's do let's do thirty seconds here of of silence so that we can so that we can send some peace and some love and some unity and some support for all who have been taken on our land, that they be returned safely. And we're going to make sure that they're returned safely because each one of us is going to, 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 to ensure that they do. We do that. That's how we do it. Each one of us is taking full responsibility for our heirs. And when we do that collectively together, we, there's no, no one who can say no to the heirs. No one who can say no. So um, I'm going to put my uh, timer again on 30 seconds so that we can um, do 30 seconds of silence, sending energy to all who've been taken, and specifically to the heirs, and, and then even more specifically to the two empresses who spoke today. Empress Sade and Empress, Empress Avahaya, we're sending this out for you all. You have our support 100%. We're here for you. So let's start with 30 seconds. Okay, if, um, I decided to do 33 seconds. Um, are there any other questions, comments, any other issues that uh, we need to, to address as a nation and as the government? Empress Sade, I know that I've, I've seen some of your videos and I know that you have the information that you need in order to, to get those things, you know, moving forward. You have our support 100%. Yes, Justice, go ahead. Islam, yes. Um, I, I believe, not believe, I know that we need to um, also approach as far as international travel um, in unity. Um, I have sent out, you know, our documents and things like that. Um, send out, uh, you know, writs um, uh, dealing with uh, not impeding our travel. Um, uh, as far mm -hmm. as domestic-wise, you know, that's been, you know, good. Um, being able, you know, no trouble there. It's just been, um, you know, being uh, go international, especially they have all these other countries that's um, dealing with passport situations. So we need to mm -hmm. get our documents out there in unison and um, yes. to attack, not attack, well, yeah, attack too. The, those those um, ailments that are stopping us from, you know, or getting in our way from going and connecting with other sovereigns in other countries as well. So if we can put that on our focus and our agenda, um, sometimes to, uh, you know, concentrate on that. I yield. Islam, did you know that all of the sovereigns from other countries are already here waiting on us? Many, many sovereigns are here already waiting on us. A lot of times we, we focus on other lands, and we should be um, to a degree. However, they're all looking at us on when y'all going to get your land together because when your land is together, the whole earth is together. So so what we're doing, and we are going to do that, Justice, that those are great points. We are, we are going to place our focus in those areas as well. Um, 
these two emphasis have errors that have been taken, et cetera, et cetera. When, when other nations look and see the errors being taken, they're, they're looking at us like you all need to, to wake up and, and start doing some things. Because when your errors are right, the rest of us are right because we're all eating off you. <laughs> you know. So as it were right now, um, and then with regard to the international travel piece, that's also on our agenda in terms of we're going to uh, vote on placing a sovereign instrument on the public record over the next couple of uh, weeks, days and weeks, um, with regard to that piece right there. We have to do it. We don't have a choice. So where airlines are concerned, et cetera. See, this is how this works. When you all, uh, we're going to put the instrument, once it's um, signed and put together, so it'll probably take a day, maybe one day, or maybe two days to put the instrument together and then place it under the video. The video will go out tonight. Um, but the instrument, um, once we put that instrument on the public record, we're going to leave a space on there for you to, to autograph. My autograph will be on it. Um, and there may be two other uh, empresses in the territory whose autograph will be on it as well because we do work in a, a triad or a trinity um, situation here. And, um, and then um, if you all want to add your sovereign autograph to the document as well, because it does need at least one wet ink sovereign autograph, so you can download it and then add your sovereign autograph to it as well. And then when you go to those places, to the post office, et cetera, et cetera, um, and again, we're not really even talking to the people at the post office. We don't, I don't have a need to talk to them. I really don't. Um, whenever we go in there, our documents just go into that, the mail bin, like we showed on the video. And um, aside from that, we're hand delivering everything else in the territory because we're the postmaster here. So we don't even have um, a reason to talk to them. Now, um, what we could do is, is each one of us just simply, very simply without any words, take a copy of the document and place it on the counter and, and enter, place it on the counter, and then walk out. They're going to try and say, what is this? What? Oh, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. Place it on the counter and then leave. A copy of the instrument with your sovereign signature, your sovereign autograph on it, along with the sovereign autographs of uh, myself and two of the other empresses here at the territory, um, just to notify them that you've been that that all of this stuff in here, this this is our stuff. And we said that on the public record many times. Now we're competent to show that we can do the commercial part too. Because, you know, they, they're a commercial, the United States Corporation Company has been a commercial venue. They even took the courts and were commercializing all of that. Well, we had to show that we are competent to do the same, except that we can do it outside of their system. So that's what this is all about, okay? Um, if there be nothing further, we're, we'll um, pause here, and then we will meet again on um, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, which is 12 noon, I mean, not, uh, 12 You're noon Eastern, five, which is, um, hold on just a moment, 12 noon Eastern on Wednesday, um, here on the same platform, and then Thursday at 7 p.m. Okay. Eastern, and then Friday, uh, Sundays at, um, and then Sundays at this time at, at, at 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine air.
Islam. Grand rise to the moors. And rising. Islam. Grand rising. Islam. Grand rising. Islam. Islam. Grand rising. Grand rising.